slow. <laughs> chest up, chest up, chest up, up. None of that fing elbows on the knees shit. Down, one last one, low, slow. All right, folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. This is Dr. Crystal Guevara. She is a board certified sports medicine doctor, among other things, and works for Team USA figure skating. Twice a year, yes. On international trips where you're the team doctor to make sure when they um, Jenga block themselves all over the ice, she comes and she does the click and the, they are all fine afterwards. Yeah. Something like that. That's medicine. Yes, yes. In any case, Dr. Crystal is going to be doing a dumbbell only leg workout. We got glutes, we got quads, we got hams, hypertrophy work. We're gonna show you guys how to do minimum equipment training and make it brutal. You good to go? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's get started. All right, so we're doing this little workout. She's out take, uh, using the bathroom or some shit right now. We just work out. You guys will learn how to do the dumbbell shit. Whatever, exercise is great. But also you go, your boy's gonna put you up on this game because I'm gonna spit that shit. Because that damn bitch got like eight curves for every curve you're supposed to have. Boy's in. I don't know where her situation is at home with her man or whatever. We out here, baby. Watch this, it's gonna be subtle and it's not. <laughs> All right, first exercise with the dumbbell stuff for your deadlift. Good enough for great grandma. Good enough for grandma. Good enough for mom. Good enough for me. We're gonna warm up with the 20s here. Crystal's gonna show you what good technique looks like. How are you feeling? You feeling good? Pretty good. 20 in each hand is okay for yeah. a warm up? Okay, nice and easy. Go ahead and grab them. Oh, we so weak. <laughs> so remember the cues are tilt the hips back to reach the butt very far back. Keep your knees back and your chest majorly up the whole time until you get a deep, painful stretch. Yes, and come up. Excellent, I love that hold down there for a second. Big tummy, big chest, butt back. Keep those knees back. They're gonna wanna come see how they're shaking. That's perfect. And then up. A lot of people, what they would do in this situation mm -hmm. is they would use tactile cues of like, kind of where to push your butt back. Mm -hmm. I would be touching your knees. But let me tell you something, you ready for this? Yeah. I got two things going for me. Three. Okay. One, an irrational hatred of tactile cues mm. that I think I inherited from Jared Feather IFB Pro. Two is restraint, nobility, civility. I'm not touching a young woman who hasn't consented to it. Mm -hmm. That's your business, not mine. And third, I don't like to brag about the shit, but I think I'll just straight up say it. I don't give a fuck. You're looking really good, right? Yeah that your boy comes from so the opposite of scarcity. You don't phase me at all. Hundreds, thousands have come and been rejected. What do you think you got for me that they know? Oh, giggle, giggle, giggle. The fuck up out of here. <laughs> warm ups are done. That was 20 pounds for the warm up, set of six. Now we're gonna be doing sets of five to 10 with 45 pounds. Really challenging the hamstrings, get that knees back, hips back, chest up, really super stretch the hams. You feeling good about it, Dr. Yeah. Crystal? Yeah. Okay, very good. Do you, what do you think is a good idea? Do you want to use some chalk? Do you want to use straps? Uh, usually I use straps. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Oh, why is that? Well, you see the moment arm of the forearm. It, it In any case. There's the grips. You got your own or you want to borrow mine? I have my own. You might not pass any drug tests after you get my shit on you, you oh feel me? Oh boy, oh boy. Good, couple more. Arch, hams only, <laughs> butt back, big chest, up, and one more, last one. Big arch, big tummy, yes, there you go, chest up. Knees back, knees back, up. Yeah, rack, right on the bench. Good stuff. Butt back, big chest. Yes. 
and down. One more, big chest, big tummy, hit it. You got this, let's go. Nice and easy, very good setup, big chest, big chest, big chest. Up, yes, rack. Good job. I think it's too heavy. For what? <laughs> Life. I need you to understand something. And this is gonna sound strange. This, to the untrained eye, may seem like a lifting session where we do a few reps and grow some muscle. But I want everyone watching to know, and especially you, Dr. Crystal, mm. this, what is happening here, is a Homerian epic tragedy. Valiance, failure, regret, one chance to make it all go well. That's the pressure we're talking about with lifting. Am I sufficiently Asian yet? <laughs> good, good. Asian folks, remember that there's not an amount of pressure you can't put on yourself, which is too much. Everything is do or die, including totally mundane tasks, which for which you successfully completed the repetitions requested with perfect technique, I might add. And then that's too heavy, which means what exactly? Don't bother answering. Just sit there and look fucking gorgeous. Give me that weight. Get your hand off my fucking weights. God damn it. The fuck? <laughs>no weight first just pretend you have weight okay and i want to get your foot up on that what would you call that three inches sure how much do you know about three inches well this is six maybe so half did you say sex six. Oh, my clavicle my cl i was off by one letter don't uh don't get at me okay you guys will notice she's in a deficit here major deficit three inch that really puts the glute at a huge stretch at the bottom and really, really targets the living shit out of the glute for that reason. We do both feet because the front leg is the one getting the glute targeted. Of course, tons of quad focus also, tons of adductor as well. This is a, I don't wanna call it a whole leg exercise, but it really checks some boxes. Warm ups feel good? Yeah. Take a little break. We'll use the 20s for work sets. Okay. And the way I have it is we have four work sets, Okay. but we uh, take each one of them as just one leg. So it's really like one set, rest, switch legs, another set, rest, switch legs, just four total. Cool? Okay. Very good. Excellent. Up, up, up. Good, one more. Slow, control, gentle pause. Speed. Rack. Hell yeah, rack. That's 10, right? Yeah. Good stuff, rack. We're gonna be doing the other legs, so take plenty of time to rest. Very good. That's a booty blaster. Yeah, hell yeah. That's what's up, that's what he said. Game tip number two. Women, yeah, if you're handsome like me, they're in, whatever. If you're rich, oh, they're in. But you gotta layer that shit in. And wherever you are in life, you can always do the one number one thing I always recommend to get women, and that's lie. I don't mean lie like tell people you were an astronaut. Well, that's actually not a bad idea. A few inches later. I sealed the door between the space shuttle and the Soyuz capsule. Just, just space pulling out vacuum. As soon as I hear the cling, I knew I saved the whole crew. And honestly, like, it's the thanks by the children and the spouses of the crews back on Earth that had me feel in a certain way. When I was saving those astronauts in space, I was just doing my job. Anyone would have done that. But it was, was the children that were like, Dr. Mike, thank you so much for saving these astronauts. You're so selfless and also incredibly brave, but also hyper-competent. How do you know how the Soyuz caps work? Do you, do you know what I mean? Ah. Success. She's impressed. Slow. Up. Whoa, 10, good job. Rack. Very good, very good. Whew. Rack and rest, have a seat. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very good. 
People say this is the wrong advice on a date. Technically, I consider any hangout with a woman a date, but I think it's spot on. What you need to do is do two things. You need to demonstrate the concept of pre-selection. That means other women have selected you before to be mating material, and you gotta let these current bitches know that you're not one of these motherfuckers that's getting the shaft you're in. And two is a jealousy plot line and the, the fucking hierarchy stack. You gotta understand, you know, let these current bitches know that they ain't shit because you had better before. So absolutely talk about exes and past hookups. Watch this. So her name was Annika. She was Swedish, right? Ex, long time ex of mine. And she was legitimately six foot one and a runway model. But like, honestly, dude, do you know why we couldn't be together? Cause she was like, Dr. Mike, she always called me Dr. Mike. Um, she was like, I want, I wanted a relationship with you that was holistic, that was like emotional and, and generational and romantic and sexual. And she's like, your sexual vibes, just the sheer physical fucking loving you put down on me is so much, I can't possibly measure up in any capacity. I have to go and live my normal life. I can't live at your superhero speed anymore. Did that make sense? You ever had something like that happen to you? Oh, you're here. Oh, hey. Eight, hey, rest a sec. Begin. Up. Nine and one more. Slow. Control. Up. Go. Go. Rack. Good job. Rest it out. <laughs> Slow. Nine, gentle touch. <clears throat> Ten, beautiful. Rack. How'd that feel? Challenging. Cool. Do you want to go on a date? No. Okay. I'm going to put these dumbbells away and we'll get to the next exercise. All right. Sounds good. I only ever touch women because of bullshit, make believe, kinesiology reasons. But then I'm in. Watch this. Something I notice about lifters of your kind of build is that like your iliopsoas tend to be really tight. And that actually has like a downstream effect to leading to like improper glute activation. Does that make sense? Yeah, but you're like touching my trap. Yeah, yeah, well it's all connected. You know what I mean? Right. She knows. Four sets of lunges done, two sets of stiff-legged deadlifts, and now we're on to our last exercise, which is two sets of Maya rep, bottom two thirds partial squats, body weight. What? Oh my God, I can't like believe he's got me like uh, training. Uh, don't fucking start with me. In any case, let me talk you through it. Heels on, toes off, feet pointed out. If you're on girls, you wanna intimidate them with enormous quads. So, although I don't know if that's working. We're gonna have Dr. Crystal break at the hips, slowly sink down, hold at the bottom for two whole seconds, and then come up only two thirds of the way. And then slowly under control, sink down again, hold for two seconds. Repeat that as many times as she can until she's really struggling. Then we let her stand all the way up. She's gonna wobble, but the lockout means the quads rest. Shake it out a little bit and then hit it again. Probably gonna do about three Maya rep mini sets per set. Two sets, it's a lot of approaches to failure, a lot of metabolite sequestration, a lot of that one thing that women love. What's that shit called? Pain, especially delivered by a domineering man. Hey, 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 you ever, uh, you like Fifty Shades of Grey? No, I haven't read the book or watched You don't read much? Yeah, I don't. You like cartoons and shit? No, I don't. Cool. Why don't you do this exercise? Sounds great. Good. Mm. Down, slow. Good, it's already fun, huh? Down, slow. Wait for two whole seconds down there. Down.
12 down. Slow, chest up, and rest with locked out. Good, nice wobble, I predicted that one. Again, begin, let's get four. Slow, slow, slow. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Weight, up, down, it's 14. Up, down, 15, chest up. Up, down, 16, up, go, stand up. Weight, lock, that's 17, you got three more and you're done for the set. Begin, way to go slow, beautiful. Up, down, slow, slow, slow. Slow, let the pain come. Up, down, slow, slow chest up. Up, and rack, that's it, good job. Go have a seat. Oh, hello, come to me. No, go away. How dare you. Uh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Last set of the day, high quality only. Wait for it. Up, down, slow, <laughs> chest up, chest up, chest up, up. None of that fucking elbows on the knees shit. Down, one last one, low, slow, slow, chest up. Try not to look like a dinosaur. There you go. Up, and one last one, go down, down, slow. Big chest crystal, yes, <laughs> yes, up and rest, breathe. Uh. Let's get five. Hit it. Good technique. Slow, chest. Yes, very good. Up, was that 15? Rest, breathe. Chest up. Down. Down, slow. Up and rest. And then two more good ones with no lockout between them. Last two, let's get 20. Down. Yes. Chest up, chest up, wait. Up. Rack. <laughs> Good stuff. I think I felt a pump. You felt a pump? Yeah. Horton, here's a who. Oh, Crystal. Michael. If I wasn't rich, famous, and already spoken for, mm. I'd ask you to be my girl. Oh, wow, that was fast. Wasn't it? Yeah. But since I'm all of those things, it's been nice. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the channel. Thanks for having Best me. Best of luck in your journey to find you a man. Thank you. And um, just remember, some of the good ones, they're, uh, they come in small packages. Oh, sorry, have small packages. All right, last pickup tip. Never, ever, no matter what somebody tells you, be afraid to beg. When all else fails, beg. Because if you're alpha and shit, girls usually get with you, but sometimes they don't. And then you gotta switch and go to straight cuck beta. A lot of them will just out of sympathy give you something. Watch this. Crystal, I, please. Crystal, please. Please. Get out of here. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Feel free to try this workout at home. Hopefully uh, away from a creepy person who 
pointlessly tries to flirt with you in all the wrong ways all the time. See you guys next time.